Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. We're going to show you how to install a new ice dispenser bucket auger for a GE refrigerator. It's a really easy job that only requires a small Phillips head screwdriver, a medium sized flat head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a few minutes of your time. When you open the package, you'll get one new ice dispenser bucket auger. The reason why you'd be replacing the auger is if the ice maker won't dispense ice. To access the part, start by opening the freezer door. Remove the ice bucket assembly. Remove the Phillips head screw that retains the ice overflow shield. Turn over the ice bucket so you can access and remove the two screws on the bottom. Remove the Phillips head screw that holds the ice dispenser actuator rod. Push down on the two tabs that will release the outside cover from the main ice bucket assembly. Then turn over the ice bucket. Remove the end of the ice dispenser actuator rod from the ice crusher housing. Press in on the two tabs on the side of the ice bucket to release the ice crusher. Then remove the assembly. Turn the ice crusher assembly on its side, then remove the ice dispenser crusher cover by winding it around the auger. You'll need to remove the C-clip that holds the auger to the ice crusher housing. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the C-clip. And then remove the auger from the housing. Here's the old auger assembly next to the new one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. You'll need to remove the plastic nut from the old auger in order to remove the crusher blades. Use a pair of pliers to loosen the plastic nut. In this case, it's reverse threads, which means to loosen it, you'll turn it clockwise. Note the orientation of each of the ice crusher blades and spacers, then remove all of the parts. In the order they were removed, reinstall the ice crusher blades and spacers onto the new auger. Then, thread on and tighten the plastic nut. Remember that the threads are reverse direction than normal, so to tighten entails turning the nut counterclockwise. Position the new auger assembly into the ice crusher housing. Turn the housing sideways and then install the old thrush washer and then press into place the C-clip. Reinstall the ice dispenser crusher cover. Then rotate it down into position. Position the end of the auger into the opening at the rear of the ice bucket. Afterwards, align the assembly and then press it down into place. Turn the ice bucket over. Then, reinstall the ice dispenser actuator rod assembly. Position the mounting bracket. Then, thread in and tighten the retaining screw. Position the front cover and then thread in and tighten the two retaining screws. Turn the ice bucket over, then reinstall the front cover assembly, making sure that the two mounting tabs click into place. 
Afterwards, reinstall the ice overflow shield. Thread in and tighten the retaining screw. Reinstall the ice bucket assembly. Afterwards, close the freezer door, and then you're done. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.